Here's what we got. This is the original 31 Chevy gas pedal bracket. It actually bolts to the back of the engine. Uh, this was in a weird configuration like that. Since this could be bolted on the firewall, I bent these straight. And that's got the old, you know, punch hole you can buy a clamp for anywhere. And instead of spending 60 bucks on a spoon pedal, I was thinking something like that. Since my brake pedal ends up about in the middle there, this is a pretty good spot. Just need a little cup or something to go in there. Okay, I'm on the garage. It's about 7 degrees out, man. It is cold. These are the washers I made. Here's the hockey puck. Just the hair bigger. The washers are hair bigger than the hockey puck. And there's the slides. The plates that they go on. Got my little kerosene heater going here, man. That thing's pointed straight at me. It is friggin' cold in here. Cement floors don't hold much of the heat. I'm looking everywhere for the gas pedal that was on there. And I don't know where it is. I took it off and put it somewhere. Probably in a drawer. But I had so much stuff, you know. And in the winter time, you forget where you put it. You haven't been out here in a while. Dash, headlights are over there. Take a look over there. Firewall. God, it's cold. Oh my God, it's cold. Oh. Here's my keys. Give me this one. Chevy key. Oh, what the hell is it? Beautiful headlights. Brake booster. Tons of stuff. What the hell is my gas pedal? I don't even know if you can hear me. Jumping over things here. Where is my gas pedal? I wanted to do one thing tonight. At least put the freaking pedal on. The steering column's down here on the floor. You can't see it. The, uh, lights only like to come on when it's semi-warm so it took them a while lucky we have any light where the hell is my gas pedal uh, this is um i got the correct dipstick tube for the transmission and the 86 engine for the junkyard the other day it's just wrapping a dirty rag right now it's a bomber wheel upside down it's huge it's huge until we bend it what do we got that's all my metrics See a little oddball hot rod parts. Look at this nice military uh, olive drab green like strap material. Maybe for the convertible roof or something. I got it at a flea market for two bucks. Here's my directional switch. Nothing like the one I gave Peak. Look at this old vintage heater switch. High low defrost. That actually goes with my heater that's in the car right now. Paint, safety glasses, all kinds of stuff. The sandpaper and stuff down here. Wheel locks. I was looking for that valve. I'll find it someday. Where the hell is my gas pedal? You're freaking me out, man. This is my bowling pin. Where is my gas pedal? There's so much stuff. And on top of the stuff, there's more stuff. I just had the freaking thing. Here's a new toolbox. What's it got in it? Wire ties, egg mills, amplifier. Uh, it's not in here. I don't think I took it, put it anywhere. I know it just clamped on. It's here somewhere. I put it right in the floor under the engine, my luck. Look at that old carburetor. That's a carter. That's a carter from an old Jeep. Jeep truck. If you see it anywhere, let me know. Huh. I have tons and tons and tons of stuff. Fence holes. I had to believe when I started this uh, whole project, my, my garage was empty. I didn't have anything for tools. I had to put some of this stuff away. Stones, flappers, little wrenches for the uh, grinders, 
you name it. I'm gonna put this in here. Man, I wanted to see that moon pedal on. I don't know where it went. Thank God for kerosene. Bingo. It says like seven degrees out. This is the body. You probably haven't seen it. Um, these are actually aftermarket bubbles for, uh, I think it was 71 Corvette lights. Uh, I was recessing, or Frenching in Corvette taillights. But I wanted something different. I think I'm going to go with the Corvette taillights. I'm going to get rid of these. These are aftermarket bubbles. I'm going to get real Corvette lights to go in there. Just because I always like four round lights in the back. Um, I'm still looking. There's my gas pedal. There's trico motors under the bench. Steering shaft, column. This is why spring will be nice. I'm just going to push the car out, pull everything that I need for the car, and put it in the middle of the floor. And anything that's not, of course, will get put away. Look at the Hurst shifter. Nice, but really doesn't fit the bill. Maybe I'll sell it. Maybe we'll make one. Who knows? Where the hell is my gas pedal? Oh well, I'm gonna look a little longer and if it stays this freaking cold out here, man, which of course it's gonna I'm going in. I shouldn't this doesn't even deserve to be a video because I haven't done anything except lost my gas pedal. I don't know where the hell I went. I keep looking in the same spots. I'd open drawers, really there's nothing in here but tools. Something if it's up that way. I'm not seeing it. Look at that. Fiero and Lamborghini. Well, this is that, uh, what do they call it? It's a, it's a filter for an old B model Mac. Look at the cool aluminum fins. And it's got a pretty thick, man. That's all aluminum. It's got a nice base. And uh, I've already taken the end caps off. I think we're gonna make something out of this. Maybe make some ends or who knows what. But uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know what we could use it for, but we'll make us something. Yeah. Was it just empty? Steering shaft. I was throwing things here, but I don't think I threw that there. There's the knuckle I needed for my Jeep. It's the sway bar link that I've been looking for. Gotta be good. Alright, well, I'll let you know. I'm gonna keep digging. Damn thing. Okay, I found it. Way over here in a metal box that I remember saying, hey, I'm gonna put all the stuff that I'm currently reusing in this box. And I forgot where the box was. Um, the gas pedal was in that box. I played with the moon, moon eyes, and they're on the throttle bracket. Um, looks pretty neat. Plenty of room. It's not too big, not too small. And I'm looking at this. Now this is the um, the end cap to my exhaust. I'm thinking, why can't we make one of those to fit the bigger circle? To go on with a lake exhaust. And that's all done. Um, I think we might. Something to do. Uh, the body spaces are out here. I already checked. They fit really good. It's just it's too damn cold to touch them because... My, my fingers freeze in like seconds. See all the yellow? It's crazy cold out here. So, have a good night. I'm going in. It's way too cold. I just shut the heater off, and I'm already blowing uh, steam out of my mouth because it's so cold in here. I covered her up in a blanket. Keep it warm. Let's bring this in. I'll bring this plate in so I can measure it. If my hands don't freeze off before I get in the house. Okay, guys. You have a good night, and thank you for the comments on uh, video 100. Maybe we'll make another 100 this summer. Hopefully we'll make it to like another 100 and she'll be done. But um, try and cover every little aspect, you know, whether it be a nut, a bolt, a screw, a washer, or a moon panel. Cover everything so that we can go, yeah, I'm going to build a hot rod tomorrow. And, you know, three years later, you got this pile of junk. This is not a walk in the park. I, I have the place to put it if I don't have time to work on it. And... That's the biggest thing. And I have the tools to do it now. I, I didn't. I had nothing. I had, you know, minimal hand tools. I have grinders and all kinds of stuff galore. 
I didn't just buy a car and say, yeah, I'm going to put it together and slap it together with a screwdriver. There's, I've got a lot of money in here. But I have to go in. Fisher. Thanks, Dad. It rocks. I haven't even had it on today. Should we try it? Probably won't even come on. It's so cold out here. Oh. Speakers in every corner. Good night, YouTube.